So like last week, uh, or two weeks ago actually, we have over here, it's animals from the tube of the ocean animals. It's from Safari Limited. And what we did was, you could see we have all these animals scattered throughout. And the kids kind of used a mixture of these adorable animals and the blocks. And over here we created a scene more of, kind of to replicate an aquarium. And if you've ever been to the aquarium, I'll just give you a little tour around. If you've ever been to the aquarium, you kind of know, they don't always put the animals together according to habitat. And so here we kind of have our own little twist on it. And I want to show you a little bit about what the kids did. Again, we used the blocks and the animals. So over here they put the octopus. Um, he's kind of like, uh, I guess he's breaking out of his appetite over there. But you get the picture, you know, the living caves in between. So that was kind of cute. We have over here a little sea animal saying hello. This animal... Um, I believe is called the sperm whale and he's known to dive very very deep under the sea and so he's on the bottom and let's go over into the habitat we have the turtle on top as he's more of a land animal he's kind of creeping up over there towards the penguin who is even though he's on cold water well I guess he's on the land because he can't swim so deep um, I mean technically he can but he's not here on the bottom we have this stingray and next to him let's get down down deep the kids put the eel and since the eel likes to swim in between cracks and crevices they kind of put him a little bit deeper than the stingray and he's in between the waves uh, find them quite cute the dolphins are kind of hanging out you have the sperm whales the dolphins and they're all on waves kind of creating um, diving effects. You've got one swimming down below and you've got two diving on top over here. <laughs> um, I guess they kind of were inspired by the sea lion shows in the zoo and so we have the sea lion kind of hanging out on top on land just like looking out at everyone else and in the back, well, oops, sorry Mr. Penguin, in the back we have the sharks and they're just again swimming and I guess the kids kind of kept him further away because they were, I guess, afraid of the predator effect over there. So you got the two sharks and I thought it was really cute because, you know, they put the blue you could see through them. You know, I want to show you one really cute thing they did um, over here. Oops, got the little starfish. He's stuck to the, um, the glass. And just a little quick overview just to show you how we use blocks and wildlife kind of to create this really interesting scene. Um, and this will, you know, it's just great. Um, you never know what you can come up with in here. I'm going to actually leave a link to the blog, a blog post um, below where you can actually see and learn a little bit more about the animals. And it's just fun. You see, we're looking through the blue block. I'm actually going to leave the link to this block below because this block is a lot of fun. And you kind of see into the fish tank or aquarium a little bit. Um, and yeah, this is just a great way to mix block play and animal life together. Um, if your kids are more creative, you know, you never know what could happen. For example, the turtle may decide to come up and say hello to everyone. Or he may decide to talk with the penguin. And, you know, again, I'm going to make a blog post and leave the link below. You can actually see more about the animals. And again, we did it in one, you know, in one scene, but there's so much to do. Each of these animals are so, so unique. You know, the eel over here, you know, build a bunch. Oops, let's take the eel out. The eel over here, he actually, he's, you know, you could build a whole underwater cavern and have him swim between the little cracks and crevices, and there's so much you could do. So I would highly recommend this toy over here. I do, this is the ocean tube, but there's a lot more. Could you imagine just like collecting a whole bunch of different you know, underwater tubes and creating a whole sea life for the kids to kind of, you know, learn. And learning is fun. So I'm going to leave links to all these blocks below. And I'm definitely going to create a blog post sharing a little bit about each of these wonderful sea creatures because they're, one, they're just amazing. And, you know, again, we created one habitat, but each of these really belong to their own unique habitat. And why not learn and just have fun learning and you know here we create a little bit of waves you know maybe the the kids want to create a turtle 
<laughs> riding a wave. But again, this is all up to the kid's imagination. So you just supply a little bits of information about these wonderful animals and just see where their imagination will take them. Building, block play, wonderful tubes, all sorts of education, academics. Oh, and there we have the little guy saying hello. Or shall I say, goodbye. And remember, have fun playing and happy playing because when the kids are having fun, well, you never know what educational moments, you know, will arise. Um, if you want to see more, po more posts like this and how kids can actually learn through play, well, then please subscribe below because this channel is all about playing and learning and, you know, you never know. Oops, let's move the sea turtle aside and you never know when you'll find a little whee, fun and action going on. So subscribe below because here it's all about the fun, the playing, and the gaming. Happy playing and have a great night.